Tired of losing in Fortnite? Then stick around as I share some game changing tips to help you secure those wins. Hey there Fortnite fans, Legend here, your go-to streamer. Are you tired of getting eliminated in Fortnite? Want to secure those easy wins and dominate the competition? Well, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to share some tips and tricks that will help you secure those victory royales. So I've only been playing Fortnite for about four months now and this is what I've learned. I only really play solos, um, zero build. So most of these tips uh, apply to that. Alright, tip number one, optimal landing spots. Choosing the right location to land can make or break your game. Here are some of the quieter areas including Sandy Steeps and Mount Olympus. These spots usually have decent loot and fewer opponents. Plus, both spots have the option to buy the new heavy sniper rifle from the NPCs. Now that you've landed safely, the next step is to loot quickly and efficiently. Try finding a good mix of weapons, shields, and healing items. This season, keep an eye out for the new mythic, Magneto's Gauntlets which are excellent for close combat. Your loadout should be diversified. Personally, I include a long range weapon, a mid range weapon, and a close range weapon. A mobile item and a healing item to ensure that I am prepared for any situation. Positioning is the key to zero builds. Without the ability to build for cover, you need to use the environment for your advantage. Find natural cover like trees, rocks, and buildings. Also be aware of your surroundings and try to stay on the higher ground whenever possible. The Shield Bubble Jr. is a powerful defense item that can protect you from any projectile. If you're getting sniped from a distance, using a bubble is a great strategy to safely use your healing items while being protected. The only thing that can destroy it is a EMP grenade. If you like to buy mods for your weapons, it's never been easier. There are nine bunkers in the game, but not all of them will open. Five random bunkers open each match once the second circle closes. You can tell if a bunker will open by the chains on the door. If you see chains, this bunker will not open during the match. If you like to carry boss medallions, don't rush to summon the bosses at the beginning of the game. It's better to either clear the whole POI and ensure there's no one camping, or wait for someone else to spawn the boss, then eliminate them. As the circle gets smaller, things get more intense. Stay calm and patient. Listen for the footsteps and keep an eye on the kill feed. Know how many players are left. If you're in a good position, let others fight it out and third party when you have the advantage. Use shockwaves and nitro fists to reposition and avoid getting caught in a bad spot. And finally, don't forget to practice. Fortnite is all about improving your skills over time. Watch replays of your game to see where you can improve and learn from your mistakes. So there you have it folks. Follow these tips and you'll be on your way to winning more. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment with your own tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. Also, if you like these kinds of videos, you can also check out how to do car combat in Season 5 Chapter 3.